Hey guys, and welcome back to more Knights and Pen and Paper 2. In the last episode, we defeated the GM and completed the game, question mark. We will see how much is left to experience in Knights on Pen and Paper 2, a new menace. Now that we're done with that addition stuff, there's a cool campaign I want to try out. That sounds good, but warn, it's only for high level characters. Ha, our levels are so high you can see them from the moon. I don't think that makes any sense. Anyway, bring it on. All right, here goes. Ow. See a crowd of people gathering at the village gates. I'll check out what the fuss is about. Pushing through the people, you see a badly injured man laying on the middle of the, in the ground. The monster, the planes are no. What happened? I, I, I barely escaped. What monster is that? Cat's egg. The man dies. So we go and slay this cat, Sarg. Sounds like a quest to me. To the plains of Null. Tell her to the plains of Null and solve the mystery. Oof. Oh, it was free travel. I guess there wasn't a... Because it gave us free travel because there wasn't an event to happen there. An ambush. I can't remember if that's even called. It wouldn't be a level 20, yeah. A Wolverine. When you hear it say, ow, it's too late. So let's backstab it, slash it, stab it, and finish her off. I hit the Count Sayark. There's no one by that name here. What? You know what we mean. What can't be named cannot be targeted, such as the law. Well, what is it called? It is the unpronounceable whore. Only one who knows its true name can defeat it. Hey, you said one. Yeah. How about that? We had it before. You had to move with the times, right? Oh, good for you, I guess. Can I go now? Sure, we'll visit you later. So what's this about the true name? Can you tell us what it is? Alas. I'm not privy to such information. Curses, I mean, though. It is said that the ancient order of the Munchkin knows it. Aha! The ancient order of the Munchkin. You wish to find the order of the Munchkin? Yes. It can be a long and perilous journey. Long and perilous is my little name. <laughs> Mine's Tracy. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Very well. You're rumored to draw in. Big town. Well, that's practically in the neighborhood. It's beyond the wall. Everything there is distant and scary. Not much of a tourist, are you? Well, then, let's go. Join the Order of the Munchkin. So, this is three. What if I do that? It'd be two. Oh, no, never mind. It would still be three. But this way, I get to ride an airship. So that's cool. Got lost. While flying along the puffy clouds, you accidentally pass through a pinkish patch of clouds. You feel a tingling sensation and suddenly feel like you're gaining levels. Ooh, this flying thing is a real nice experience. We have the clouds change your course and you land on an unknown island. Awesome, we found a lost island. That's cool, see? It was definitely worth it to go that way I chose. I want to get power lunch. Oh, and I never equipped the second ring. I made some more almighty rings, because they're way better for this character. They boost his damage, they boost his threat, they boost his critical, and they boost his initiative. So, plus, they give him more health as well. And energy. Health and energy is something he's super low on, so. We still need enchanted cushion, it's probably the best item in the game. Thought about replacing the spirit beads. Yeah, it has to be worth it to replace the spirit beans. Hmm. Probably can use the mirror of inward reflection on someone else. He has the diary. Thing is, I don't think I really need extra gold. This is extra XP. And it's only 3%. And here, yeah, we want to keep all these Magnicos because they give me that ridiculous critical that I need. Hmm, actually, just thinking. This probably gives 1% critical, doesn't it? 
Yeah, so I'm losing 3% critical and gaining like a lot of- Oh no! For some reason it doesn't give her any more damage. Let's just see if I get two rings. Just for curiosity's sake. Two rings only increases her damage slightly, or it increases the, decreases the critical hit rate. So, nah, whatever, we'll just stick with those for now. There is things to find on this deserted island, though, for sure. Man, I'm just loving this. This was such a great um, thing to find. And if I would have gone with the, just the easy way, never found it. Because you saw there's nothing to find. We found we rolled a 20 and we didn't find anything at all. Perfect. Lost gear. You found a sweat on glowing magical energy burden set. It looks cool while you're keeping it cool. Yeah, I was gonna say rage or something. Oh, just pirates. So. Oh yeah, I'm in the middle of a quest. Oh, this is Lost Island way down here. That's cool. There must be stuff down in this area as well. But that's cool. Let's do some additional traveling. If we roll 20, so we possibly get some cool items, but that's fine. So let us continue. How do you plan to find the Order of the Munchkin? <laughs> ask around or we'll just ask around. I grabbed the nearest person and asked if they heard the noise of the order of the monkey. Maybe they should, we should play flyers. A knock on people's doors. I'll ask them if they want to discuss the order of the monkeys. You failed to find any information on the order. But you do manage to get a couple of new recruits for a strange cult. Oopsies. Suddenly a lawyer appears. Hello, Mr. Solicitor. We have received complaints that you're using the order of the munchkin register trademark for recruitment without the express consent of the order. Oops, fair use. Man to answer these accusations face to face. That can be arranged. Here's the address. You come up on a small door in the back alley. I knock on the door. The man opens. The door opens, rather. <laughs> the man opens and a large door appears. <laughs> no. The door opens and a large man appears. I told you I'd be back. Only person with the proper level of prowess may enter. Okay, so fight. A contest of physical and or arcane might is an acceptable way of providing proof of one expertise. You have cavemen with you? This is kind of an odd way to do things, but sure. So, I did not get the adjacency thing. I kept the bonus marks and stuff. Um, yeah. Go for the single target damage. Man, he's giving me a couple of good swacks. Seven. Ooh, 50 critical. We'll wrap him up. Possibly get stuns and get the big damage over time effect. See, 27 damage in one hit. Ridiculous damage from wrapping people. That's why I was trying to wrap that boss earlier, but it was not having any success. Ooh, I could power lunge. Oh, okay, that's that attack. That's a power lunge. Okay. Pickle. Oof. He's really getting smacked up. Plus he got wound as well. Um, he got way... Oh, he doesn't have enough magic to use any abilities. Um, yeah, I guess just attack. He should... He goes first, so he should be able to heal him back up the, up the snuff. Give buddy a little bit of magic. Got another fireball on him. I think he resisted his thing. He did. Um, yeah, let's just power lunge again. Because this guy's going to be taking quite a bit of damage from... Man, he got double hit. And his threat's only 5%. I'm just going to um, rest after this. So we'll just use up the rest of our magic. Man. That guy has some pretty strong hits. Okay. So the secret is... 
actually cheaper to use Phoenix Ups than it is to. Um, so if you look, you can, I believe you can buy Phoenix Up for less money than it would cost to resurrect. Where's the Phoenix Up? Oh, they're, they're in consumables. See, Phoenix Up is 30. They were charging me for 41 to resurrect them. Just, I knew that would come to a play, because that's a really cheap resurrection. So, and that's why the goth kid is absolutely useless. He's free to resurrect. How often has it resurrected and I have so much money that it doesn't even matter. So. And I, just, and I we think we checked. There's nothing new to buy. No. We already have the heaviest armor. It's already upgraded. Pretty substantially. Guess I could buy this tower shield. And then enchant it. Consumables. Okay. So where's the tier? I want to grab one of my trinkets. Fire, burn, poison. What else do I have? Stun. I think that would give me resistance to stun. Confusion is probably the best one. Because I believe if you use an item, it gives you resistance against that. Or you use it on a non aggressive item. So, shield and shotgun scroll. Confusion tower shield plus three versus confusion. So, I'm not going to get confused very often, but it's definitely something that's very worthwhile to have. So, it's only negative 15 energy. So, I'm just curious. So, that's plus eight is plus nine and it has an effect but it does have more energy oh but this would be two headed so you could have two of these man lots of stuff interrupted me now you possibly can hear that ambulance outside maybe you can't but i'm guessing you might be able to but anyway pop them in with that so <laughs> that goes me from 31 or some 26 to 31 however it also brings me from 28 mana down to 62 mana so very high, but pretty, pretty worth it. I'm not going to buy another War Axe just to upgrade it more, though. But I could... Hmm, how much are this? 75. Plus 225. So 300 to get a new weapon that's just possibly very barely better. So I don't think so. I don't think that's worth it. And I don't really want to reduce his... Because this is very good about the reduction for that amount of energy. I don't really want to reduce his energy much further. So no, I think I'm happy with that. Just wondering if I need... Well... Gold? Yeah. Well, I possibly get in quite a bit more gold because I'm... So that's, I think that's fine. Now tell us the true name of the unproducible whore. On the accolades of high level, I trust with that information. If you're not here to join our ranks, please leave. Oh, then we'd like to join. How can we do it? Your level of skill is satisfactory for now. It's positions in order. You may pass. I wish school exams were this fun. <laughs> Perfect. Now I'm arcane flow. Low fireball. Again, oh, we're getting two burn. Definitely go with that then. Okay, so I did heal. Power of the Montage. You've begun your training in the Order of the Munchkin. Days pass as you hone your skills in martial arts and adventuring expertise. I think this calls for a montage. Yes, montage time. Well, uh, dun 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 dun. dun. I'm lifting weights. Boxing, definitely boxing. Kung Fu on top of a bear, angry bear. Levitating on top of a mountain while studying tons of books. Well, yes, you feel very well trained, but dancing on spikes while fighting three dragons. But what? It's a proper way to do this too, a mechanical way. To train now, see, we have captured some unspellable abominations for you to travel with. Or sorry, to train with, <laughs> not to travel with. Go to the steam flats. Well, we will head to the steam flats. Hopefully we'll roll some 20s along the way because that's a good way to get some cool and sweet items. Hmm. 
Man, we safe traveled all the way. That's awesome. We have to train to overcome the full member of the order. Kill five Zogoths in one fighting battle. I can only fight one at a time? Why won't you let me... F okay, well, I, I have a plan here then. Because there's an item in the game that lets you have more enemies in a battle. Um, where is it? The board game, you can set up fights with two more enemies. So, we'll head back and now we should be able to add three Zogoths to this battle. See, I think the reason is because if you look at, yeah, they're extra large sized so that they cannot fit unless you have exactly that item. So, that's a really nice thing to have. Two, three. Okay, I can do this wrap because he'll get a turn. I guess he'll undo his stun and undo his wrappings, but you know, there's, there's nothing I can do to really, unless I get lucky and give him a status effect. No, but not the end of the world. I guess I could have wrapped the Zogath in the back, but I'm not that worried about it. Hmm. Oh, he burnt a little bit. That's what happened. I guess I could have backstabbed that Zogoth as well, but not in the world what else is there. Weakness, heal it by a little bit, get fired again. Oh yeah, he has, he's not resistant to burn anymore. I was like, why is he burning? But I'm like, oh yeah, I got rid of my dragon's egg. Um, guess we'll have to get him back. Got him stunned. Oh yeah, I should be attacking the other one, because this is the one that's wrapped. And the wrap's gonna do quite a bit of damage. Burn, burn, burn. It's been a long time since I've had to set up a fight though. <laughs> Just burninating horribly. But I'm getting burned quite bad too. Because what are they up to? Burn. Oh, okay, it's not a, it's only up to burn eight. Like this guy is burned 26. So I shouldn't complain about burn 8 when the poor guy is burned 26. Ooh, crit for 92 damage. Didn't even need to wrap him. if it's better to okay I did keep the spirit beads because I was thinking well there's not too much that gives you additional spell damage so and sadly I can't upgrade the magic staff which would be nice but anyway I definitely want to get grappling hook because if I need it it's an ability to have oh I need to fight a total of six augusts So whose turn is it? Oh, hidden first. Okay, perfect. I love when he goes first. That's actually why I have the boots to slow down, so he goes after the wizard. And that's the one really good thing about um, having. How do I want to express this? It's a really nice thing about having things that give you minus initiative if you can alter the initiative. And it's the other good thing about him having additional of those um, rings is you get more initiative. It's initiative, there's not a lot of items that give you initiative in the game, so. Definitely having a couple is very powerful. Definitely wrap this guy, see if we get stun. If not, we get the wrap, wrap big damage as we have discussed. So he's actually getting quite hurt, so we could definitely give him some healing. The reason I always hit the one in the back row as well is because we can't generally attack the back row that easily. So damaging when the back row, and these guys all get damage from the DOT. So mostly we're just looking for the um, 
additional damage, 27. Oh, he rolled out of the wound. That's why he didn't take damage from the wound. I was like, why didn't he take damage from the wound? So, but that's why. Ooh, he even got poison now. Poison does not work in the regular way. It, you lose energy before you lose health. So poisoning this character is not that effective because, um, well, he doesn't take a lot of, doesn't use a lot of energy generally. Yeah, I may as well wrap the guy in the back. Oops. I was just thinking he was burned. <laughs> it's a little bit of a waste of mana there, but not to the end of the world. So. So. A reason the wrap didn't work is because there's no status effect. You have to have a status effect for wrap to take effect. It will take effect if you stun the enemy when you use the wrap. However, we did fail the stun, so we did not get wrap because we had no conditions. And now we can just very easily just finish these guys off. Come here. Me bird a little bit. I'm put in the heal just in case we really do need it. And finish letting me off. <laughs> Leather bracers, that's an old item that we have in. So we've completed the full training and now we can head back to Big Town to join the order. Hopefully we get safe travels all the way back and we don't have to tra fight rat traps or snakes or trolls or bandits. Perfect. See, we found all the items there, so we just get free travel once we get here. We will rest at the end, just get everybody's stats all the way up to full. A rude bird catches the XP. Congratulations, you now completed your training, novice, and you are now a full member of the Order. I never knew being a munchkin would feel this good. Ooh, he's almost to level. First mission. So now that we're members, what do we do? Do we, like, get missions? And are you going to tell us the name of that monster? Peace and strong magic To defeat the unpronounceable horror, you must first need to destroy its minions. How do we do that? Based on a data in our in-house oracle is collected, there's a surge of monster activity in the Mountains of Ascent. Hiding those oracles, travel to the Mountains of Ascent and defeat the horror. Oh, a new area. I think. No, maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't think we've been to the, the, the Mountains of Ascent yet. They don't have anything to find, though, so... Ooh, you found superfood. That's kind of... Well, I'd, I'd say it's definitely lame, yeah. I was going to say lame originally, and I'm like, that's kind of... And I'm like, yeah, lame is right. Oh, so just dead pixels and undead pixels here. Pretty pretty standard weekends. I like this fresh mountain air. By the way, why are these called the Mountains of Ascent? It was back in the days for the great graphics revamp, when these mountains reassembled Ascent characters, you know... A A A A A Oh ac accent Accented I never heard the word ex accented. Sometimes those dots fell from the mountains. There's nothing more terrifying than a total edge. Ah Scope your foods. We'll we well no let yokes middle in our planes any frustration. Weren't these guys silent monks or whatever? They sound like an epic autocrat failure. Um can I use my lord to find out who they are? Roll. They are the unintelligible, unintelligible. Okay, that's right. Unintelligible Brotherhood. They used to be the Silent Brotherhood. Now they're trying to speak for the first time. <laughs> that's funny. I think they're better when they were silent. What do they want? I'm afraid their further dialogue does not make any sense. I can speak Kayak. Would that help? Hmm. Well, yes. Their language is the Kayak language you stole from previous edition. They are the ones who summoned the unpronounceable horror, and obviously don't want you to defeat it. So that's we teach them a very in, in, intellect, intelligible, intellectual. These words and violent lesson. My pronunciation's not good the best of days. Oh, also we need to take off that ability to spawn additional enemies, but take off there. So either way, we only hit three enemies. There's three enemies in this roll, so we want to hit here. Because we're going to uh, wrap the whole first row. Okay, well, not too much point. We may as well wrap the back row then. But that's happened. Um... Oh, I thought that was the backstabbing guy, but I guess it was not. Eight damage. So these are dragons, by the way. They're from the... They're from the... The old school dungeon. So they're just D. Like, kind of like Ultima. Ooh, kind of want to... 
the cleaving seems just good. Okay. Smash him. So now we'll burn this guy. It only burns again because he never got a condition again, but not the end of the world. Oh, he's is he adjacent to him? Oh, I guess he would be, yeah. So we're only missing one character. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, he may as well tag again. Possibly get stunned here. If he gets stunned here, it will hold. Perfect. So now we can flame. We might not have to get the... F oh, no, he should survive to get flamed. Um, may, as may as well cleave them again. <laughs> See, just... Wrap is so powerful. Does so much damage. Now he got wounded as well. So... Fish him off with the fireball. Build up the burn damage, which hopefully I think we'll be able to take out these poor fools. Perfect. And destroy the dragon. Perfect. Plus I got a large shield as well. So if we quickly go back here, go into our game room. And we want to change back to the um, dice collection. But anyway guys, I think we will call that an episode. We'll be back um, for more Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Thanks guys. Later.